Hello, my name is Aaron Pearson. I'm going to be talking about environmental impact on a smaller scale, like what Overland Park uh, puts into the global problems. So today, on a larger scale, what in major environmental issues are uh, air pollution from burning fossil fuels like in cars or tractors, and also the use of fertilizer where it degrades the soil and then ends up running and running off into the water. That's a big problem because it hurts the wildlife that lives in the water. And uh, overcropping, which is a big deal in Kansas because we have a lot of uh, corn fields and soy fields out here and that degrades the soil and makes it unusable after a while. Our community, as in Overland Park, uses a lot of plastic bottles and have a lot of cars, maybe not as much as a city, but we do contribute a lot, to, especially with fertilizers, with everyone's lawns and golf courses, and then everyone's commute every day, uh, maybe from outer OP then to inner central business district, but um, a lot of plastic bottles are used, a lot of fertilizer, and a lot of air pollution, which ends up in the air, water, and also in the soils. Hey, excuse me, can I ask you a couple questions for a class about environmental protection? Sure. Okay, uh, do you use a reusable water bottle when you come to school? No. Uh, do you recycle your bottles with the uh, recycling bins around the school? Yes. And do you know what gas mileage your truck gets here? 13, 13. miles Do you think the gallon. school could do a better job of getting recycling bins around the school? Yeah, I think they're a lot in the wrong room and stuff, but in some of the other hallways, they're a little scarce. Excuse me, excuse me. Can I ask you some questions for an interview? Sure. All right. Do you use a reusable water bottle when you come to school? Yes. Okay. <laughs> when you have bottles or paper, do you recycle them? Yes. All right. Do you know what, uh, how much, what the gas mileage is on your car? Um, I get about 24 in the city, about 38 on the highway. All right, and do you think that the school could use a better job at putting recycling bins and paper recycling around the school? Uh, yes. All right, thank you. <laughs> Excuse me, can I interview you for school? Uh, no thanks. I went to Iron Horse Golf Course to interview Brett Myers and Paul uh, about how <laughs> Iron Horse treats the environment. All right, so what type of carts does Iron Horse use? Electric golf carts. Is there a reason for that? Yes, we use electric because of the noise instead of uh, having gas powered. Uh, that way to keep the noise down. Uh, it's better maintenance wise, less cost, uh, no gas, just electricity. And it's just overall a better, better cart in our opinion. What about plastics when you use water bottles and stuff? We have water bottles uh, that we do sell. We also use plastic cups uh, for water, uh, which we can in that in that turn recycle. Awesome. All right, what type of fertilizers do you guys use at Iron Horse? We use all sorts. Um, a lot of the granular fertilizers we'll use are sustained products. So they're five, three, five, five percent nitrogen, and then. Uh, we use ammonium sulfate on our fairways, tees, and rough sometimes. Um, usually, typically, we're trying to get about five pounds of nitrogen on the course per year. Um, a lot of that is applied in the fall and also in the spring. All right, uh, do you know if there's much runoff from the course in fertilizers? There is not. There's not. Um, we, we take practices to prevent that. Um, a lot of the times when we're, um, when we're applying, we're making sure that it's on a less windier day than um, you typically get during these times in Kansas. So we, uh, we try to prevent drift and um, applying when it's raining so we don't get a lot of runoff. Awesome. And then one more question. Is there any th other thing that Iron Horse does to be more green compared to other golf courses? Um, not necessarily us. Um, I, we don't really stand out compared to others, I guess. Um, everybody in this, uh, in this vicinity, I guess, 
pretty much follow the same OSHA standards and um, we do our best to keep the environment clean. So overall, Overland Park and especially local businesses such as Iron Horse do a good job of trying to keep runoff and uh, overuse of gasoline, trying to cut down on carbon emissions, doing a good job as compared to larger cities where the foot traffic is so much that the pollution is way over the head of so many people. Um, Overland Park is on the lesser end of pollution as I've seen and uh, if you're looking to act more greener you can stay away from plastics, use a reusable water bottle, uh, use reusable uh, grocery bags and um, carpool every once in a while. Thanks for watching my video. Thank you.